I'm gonna show you how to create a marketplace. We'll go through five different options you can use to get started today. And we'll look at the key features, the pricing, which one I would choose, and what you should be focusing on before you begin. Let's go through the five. Number one, share tribe. Two, CS cart. Three, softer. Four, brilliant directories. And five, using Google Sheets. Let's talk about the first one, share tribe. What is it? This is a platform where you can build out a marketplace. One of the things that stands out with ShareTribe is the new features and what they just did with ShareTribe in 2024. It allows you to scale using custom code through API first development platform. Okay, what does that mean? That just means if you wanna have a very specific type of onboarding, you wanna have all of the customization that you want, it gives you the benefit of starting with no code out of the box, just a drag and dropper like a website builder, but then you can expand based where your business wants to go. CS Cart is a platform where you can create no code marketplaces. There's actually a lot of different ways to use CS Cart, and we've done a video on all the different ones, but essentially I would look at the no code marketplace and that allows you to launch your marketplace in a few days and then be able to expand from there. Three, I find it the fastest and easiest way to get started. It has some limitations, but that is softer. You can create all different types of marketplaces. If you're gonna do rental marketplace, you can do a product marketplace, a freelance marketplace. There are tons of great templates that you can use softer with to get started with, with your marketplace. Next, we look at Brilliant Directories. Brilliant Directories is usually used as like a membership model or a directory that people can pay for if you want to, but you can also use features where you can highlight different people or even have people pay you, like it's Craig, Craigslist, to promote their product or their service so you can create your own marketplace in that way. And then there is Google Sheets using Better Sheets. Now, shout out to our friend, uh, Andrew Canfee at Better Sheets, but he actually broke down a few years, years ago how to use a very basic Google Sheet if you're going to be creating something like a Craigslist, um, Craigslist listing or something like that using just Google Sheets. So that's, that's another viable option. Before we get into the pricing, what we want to do is make sure that we focus on what you need to be doing when you go through these steps. Number one, you've got to focus on your goal. What is your goal with your marketplace? What kind of marketplace are you going to try to create? Is that your end goal? Are you going to be scaling your marketplace to the point where you're going to sell it? What is your goal? What does it look like? The next one is price. What is your pricing? Where, where are you? Do you have to start for free and then scale up? Do you have any money? Are you already operating a marketplace like on Facebook marketplace, and now you're trying to bring your audience to a legitimate marketplace, where are you? Let me know in the comment section down below. And then the last one is action. There are tons of different options here, but depending on your skill level, your bandwidth, your time, it's really going to have to be a balancing act of where are you? What do you need to do to get started now? Because tons of people, we've been talking about marketplaces on this channel for almost four years now. The biggest thing that we see is it's not the tech, it's procrastination. Most people procrastinate or they choose something like Bubble, then they get overwhelmed or impatient. Pick a platform that you can start executing and choosing uh, to validate your marketplace right now. So let's get right into the pricing of these different platforms, okay? So Share Tribe, we'll look at monthly and then we'll look at yearly. So monthly, $29. Uh, to get started and then to go up. Okay, so $29 to get started. Onboarding is $139, launch is $249. What do we need to look at here? Let's just make it very basic. To prototype your idea and to prepare to launch, you're in the $29 or $39 area. Launching your marketplace starts at $249. Okay, so if you've looked at my Share Tribe videos in the past, the pricing has changed in 2024, right? So there's something to consider. But it allows you to validate your idea, onboard your clients, 
or your potential um, either sellers or buyers, see what they like, and then be able to go live afterwards. So even in the onboarding section, live marketplace with a custom domain in onboarding mode, so no transaction transactions, that's 139. So you're launching at 249. Again, the reason or the selling point of Share Tribe is ones that I feel like if they want a very custom experience and be able to scale, kind of the things like the best of Share Tribe Flex that they used to have, and then it's already built in and everything like that. All right, looking at CS Cart, you're looking at $95 to start. $95 for 500 products, revenue up to 5K, 50 vendors, one admin. So this allows you, again, to hit the ground running, that $95 all in. And depending on how much the transactions are, you could start on the basic plan and really start scaling up. The other thing is I'd like to say to people like, well, I need more vendors. If you're if you're trying to hit 500 vendors or over 50 and you're not making enough of $95 to cover your platform, something's wrong. Something's wrong with your business structure. Your return on investment, something's off. So I really think this is a good option where $95, 500 products, 50 vendors, you should be making your money and then some. Then you can go up to Pro, which is um, 5,000 products, $10,000 in revenue, 500 vendors, three admins. And then if we look at, let's look at the last one. Uh, advance 295, 50,000 products, unlimited revenue, unlimited vendors, unlimited admins. So that's 295 all in to scale. And then if we're looking at the pricing of Share Tribe, you're looking at the extended is, yeah. So the extended 299 and 295, you see where it's at that level. Okay. Right here, you're having 500 free transactions per month. And then you'll probably get charged past that. Um, we might go into full features to see. Okay, so for theirs is for the plan at 199. So yeah, so the launch plan, yeah, the launch plan at 199, it will give you 250 transactions, and then additional transactions, 19 cents or less per initiated transaction and then once you hit 500 which is the 299 plan then it's nine um okay 500 additional transactions 19 cents at per transaction so basically the more volume you do they're just taking an extra percentage of those transactions um and then from here we don't see that on cs cart so that's just something to consider transaction fees, but that's the name of it. When using any of these kind of services, uh, the payment providers, what you're using, they're going to take some kind of percentage. So something to consider versus how many transactions you're doing on ShareTribe versus uh, CS Card. For softer, what are we looking at? We look at the pricing structure. We can start for free uh, for having unlimited app visitors. Okay, five internal, internal, 100 external app users okay so this is going to just depend on how many people are going to be interacting with your app and the payment structure basically but here you could start for free we're looking at when can you start taking transactions scroll down looking at if there is something to do with payments so you should, let's make sure, options to buy extra custom domains in the $49 plan. Okay, so for free, you should be able to start taking payments if you go that route. I'm verifying, but I don't see that being a problem. It's what's going to really, the thing with software is going to be depending on how many users you have. That's what's going to scale your pricing structure. But you could be making sales at the free plan and then going up. And then basic at $49 a month. Um, that's when we have 10 internal, 1,000 external app users. And then professional, 50 and 5,000 external app users. Um, 
10 workplace collaborators, remove softer branding at 139. So really you could start making money and testing this out at the free or basic plan for softer. So if I'm looking at it and I, I want to look at having a, and we'll talk about the, the constraints in a little bit, but you can start with a marketplace, a uh, rental marketplace or a freelance marketplace. That's not a problem. If we're looking at the brilliant directories, if we're looking at brilliant directories, the pricing model, let's view pricing, 145 per month, $95, uh, $950 per year, or all in uh, $1,450 for a, a lifetime fee. Something to consider. And also they've been on um, AppSumo a few times. So it kind of depends on the all-in price. But Brilliant Directories, with all the things that you can do with it, it's pretty it's pretty great. All right. And then the last one, we're looking at Better Sheets and creating a marketplace with Google Sheets. It's free. All you need is a Gmail account. All right. So looking at these different factors and looking at what we have with the marketplace, which one would I choose? I would be choosing, it depends. No, seriously, it depends on where what you're trying to do. If I'm just getting started and I'm testing out my idea and I'm trying and I do not want to spend a lot of time on this, I probably go with softer. It allows me to use the template to get started very, very quickly. I can connect it to my Stripe account and then test out sales. The caveat is softer won't allow you to scale with your marketplace, but it does allow you to validate. For example, the inventory, uh, the demand, all those things, I can have it look very nice and pretty, and I, I can do a lot of things with softer. The other thing that I'd be looking at is CS Cart and, and ShareTribe. Depending on what I would need, if I need a really custom experience and I wanna be able to work with devs and do all of this custom work, ShareTribe might be the answer for me. But if you're looking for something more out of the box, something on rails, so to speak, CS Cart might be where you're going to be. And depending on the price and where you're going to be, this might be a better option for you. In the comment section down below, please let me know. Are you just getting started? Do you have an existing marketplace on Facebook or on another social media platform and now you're trying to come over? Really depends, really depends. The other thing I would mention Brilliant, brilliant directories, if I can get it on a deal, either the LTD, I might get brilliant directories, but it depends on the functionality of my type of marketplace I'm looking at. Personally, the marketplace that we use, uh, we use it with paper form, and it's a one-sided marketplace. We get talent, ones that are looking for no-code developers, and then we match them. We do that manually. The reason we did that was we get so many inquiries where people ask me to start building their app, and I, I don't build apps for the majority of people, we are full with our clients. So I'm usually referring it out to friends or agencies that I've worked with in the past and they're excellent. And that's usually how it runs. So it really depends on your marketplace. If I was looking at like, I'm looking to go from zero to $5 million, I would probably go with ShareTribe because I can scale exactly the way I want it. I can have the custom coding that I want. I can work with the devs. I can have the, the dashboards that I'm looking for. I can do everything to scale for a share tribe. But is that for you? Is that what you want to do right off the bat? If you're just testing out a marketplace and seeing if it's a good fit, that's when CS, uh, CS Card or Softer would really be my sweet spot because it looks good and it's functional. And then going from there, if I need multiple vendors, though, it's CS Cart. You can't be doing the vendor experience with software. It's just not going to work very well. You can always jerry rig it, but it's just just go with CS Cart if we're going to go that way. So it depends. How many vendors are you going to use? Or is it a one-sided marketplace? Is it a two-sided marketplace? Have Are you making money? All of those things are, are things to consider. And write this down, your goals, your price, and action. Now, there's a video above my head or somewhere that shows you the breakdown of us using CS Cart and how we use ShareTribe. Let me know which one you want to choose or click one of them right now.